break out. And you also pointed out that there was this muscle here. This muscle right here is called triceps brachii lateralis. If that muscle is triceps brachii lateralis, Mr. Gilmore, then you have another muscle here on the bottom. His name is triceps brachii longus. Alright, and we can see him from multiple angles. If that much is true, Mr. Gilmore, what is this muscle right here? This muscle is brachialis. Is this a good view? I had a cat last time that had a battle. This right here is brachialis. Can you see that? Is, is, is this a good view for you or do I need to zoom out or something? It's okay? Alright, so let's do it again. On the top. Double deltoid. Most of this on the outside. Try to break it out a lot around it. Most of it at the bottom. Try to break it out longer. And so that makes this muscle here break out. If that much is true, this muscle right here, epitrochlearis. When I retract epitrochlearis, for some odd reason, I can see there's a muscle that comes out. He doesn't hide. They have to do a biceps curl. His name is what? Biceps brachii, because he's on top. Then I go be up below him. What's his name? Triceps brachii longus. If that's triceps brachii longus, I can open this up, and guess what I get to see? You see this muscle right here? It's called triceps brachii medialis. I can see it from both sides, that tip. The other kid is really good at that. But okay, let's keep going. The forearm. Okay, since I'm on this side already, I'll go ahead and do this. Now, what did we do? We said if I'm on this side, I'm all extensors. I'm extending the wrist. I'm on this side, I'm all flexing. So those are flexors. As we did that, well, we on the inside, his flexors. So let's look at this right here. We find that if I go If I go here on the inside, that's where his thumb is. If I go here to his pinky, that's where his outside pinky is, okay? Where the nerve that goes to the outside pinky is going to be the ulnar nerve. The nerve that goes to his thumb is going to be the radial nerve. By me just knowing that orientation, I can't get this wrong on test. Just that information helps me to get this right on test. How do you know, Mr. Gilmore? Well, there is a muscle that's going to come here and go toward his pinky. Because it's on the inside, which means it's going to help me flex, this is called flexing carpi ulnaris. How do you know, Mr. Gilmore? Because I'm on the what? Lateral aspect, and I'm going toward the pinky. This is going to be on my flexor side, so this has to be flexing or flexor carpi ulnaris. Mr. Gilmore, what is this big, flat, broad? Looks like a palm. So we're going to call this what? Palmaris longus. Because it's the flat bra one. Can't get that wrong test it's the easiest one of the flexors. So again, we got flexor carpi on there. We just said this fellow was called Palmaris Longus. 
Watch this. I got a muscle here. And a muscle there. This muscle, just like I had a flexor carpi on there, is like I now have a flexor carpi radialis because I'm going toward the thumb. If this is flexor carpi on there, just again, but there's a muscle in here that you got your hand on, that you got these right here that looks like a triangle. I'm going to take that sheet off in a second. If it looks like a triangle, then it gets real skinny. His name is Pronator Terry. Show him to us, Mr. Gilmore. Say yeah. yeah.